your girl pink mink back at it again with another video so today i'm going to be talking about how i maintain my units my curly hair and my straight hair in particular my curly units because straight hair is like relatively easy to maintain and keep going but this is going to be a two-part video the first part is going to be me telling you guys how i maintain my units and then the second one will be me actually making a unit for you guys so i know that it's hot outside now and a lot of people are starting to rock their curly hair and uh so uh, one of my followers on snapchat actually messaged me and told me that she wanted me to do a video on how to maintain my units my curly hair you know sew-ins and all that kind of stuff to make sure that they last longer in this hot weather so i guess how old this unit is let me give you a little twirl In two months this unit will be one year old and I wear this unit all the time first of all I literally love this unit second of all I haven't redone the closure I haven't taken it apart and done it and put it back together or anything like that this unit literally the first time I made it is what it is now and I have a few tips and tricks that I do to my units to ensure that they look good so the first thing that I'll let you guys know is when it comes to having a closure, sometimes I know you can be like, I know it's like a little rough, you know, you'd be itching your closure, you'd be combing it out and stuff like that. And with a lot of that stuff, over time, your closures will start to become thin. Sometimes there'll even be bald spots that start to happen and that's not a good look. So some things that I do to try and ensure that there are no bald spots, that my closure looks nice and thick and that it lasts long is one, I will always make sure that I use either a denim brush or a weave brush, a paddle brush. Um, my paddle brush is actually in the bathroom, but like a brush like this with soft bristles on it when I'm combing out my closure and I ensure that I comb from the bottom of the bottom and then you work your way up. My second tip is to always have a bottle of water and conditioner hand handy. If you're ever detangling your hair, if you have straight hair, curly hair, or whatever, and it's knotty, don't sit there and try and brush it out. Take yourself some water and conditioner, spray that baby, and then you can work at it nice and slowly with your brush. Tip number three, girl, you better hop on Amazon right now, especially if you have curly hair, and buy yourself some silicone mix. This right here is silicone mix. This is the bamboo version. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. When I tell you, this baby literally gives me life. Like, whenever I have curly hair, I throw some of this in it. Just grab a, just wash your hair. You can wet it or you can actually wash it. But before you detangle it, throw some of this baby in it. Saturate it, saturate it well. Get a plastic bag. Throw the hair in the plastic bag, tie it up, let it sit. One hour, two hours. It says like three minutes. You can put it on for three minutes, but I like a deep penetration. It's going to feel so soft. Literally, this product is literally like sent from the heavens above. And I just want to mention, because I know people be thinking, no, I'm not getting no money for you guys going on Amazon and buying this. First of all, I have 300 subscribers. Ain't nobody sending me no ads. Ain't nobody sending me no money. Like, this is not how YouTube work, okay? And if you have a sew-in, you can also do this. When you're washing your sew-in, just grab some of this. You can put it on your sew-in, leave it there, put it under a little plastic bag, sit underneath the heater or anything like that. Sit there for 15, 20 minutes, wash that baby out, boom, soft hair. Brand, 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 brand new. Especially if you bleach your hair, wash it, let it sit in some deep conditioner, take it out the deep conditioner, rinse that out, put some of the silicone mix in it. It holds all that moisture in and your blonde hair will be nice and spanking brand new. Another tip that I have, tip number four, is when your closure is starting to thin out, I would say, like say for example you're getting a small bald patch, my number one tip is to grab yourself a Sharpie marker, one that preferably has a nice pointy tip. If you look at your closures, even if you bleach the knots, if you look at your closure, you will see that there are small little dots where they pull all the knots for each hair strand. These dots are put in a particular pattern where they're very consistent throughout the hair. You can literally follow the line of hair that is going on your unit. They're usually pretty consistent. So with that being said, if you take a fine tip black marker and you follow that pattern where the bald spot is, your unit will look like brand new. If you have a part, you can skip that part. Like say for example, I have a part right here. I would just dot, 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 
skip the part and then just keep doing my dots and literally once you're done doing that the unit will go from looking bald to looking brand new <laughs> so that's a tip and just a warning this will only work if the bald spot is not too big if you have a gaping bald spot on your closure i'm sorry to say honey you have only two options one you can move the part two you have to get a new unit you have to get a new closure yeah, that's all the tips that I can think about today, you guys. So if you like this video, if I helped you out even the littlest, please just give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below which one have you used. Do you have any tips that you can give me? If so, comment those down below. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. We're almost at 300 subscribers. Very close. Very, very close. So if you're not one of those people, join the game. Drift my wall. I get the drift from my wall. I get the drift from my wall. And like I always say in all my videos, well, majority of my videos now, if you have any suggestions on what kind of videos you want to see or what kind of new videos you want me to try and do, make sure you comment that down below too. And I'll see you guys in my next video.